Right, ladies and gentlemen. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add background music to your web page. How about that? Now, if you code your web pages using a text editor instead of an HTM editor, such as Dreamweaver or uh, something like uh, I use, which is Visual Studio 2008, uh, what we're going to do in this tutorial, uh, we're not going to use a uh, Dreamweaver or any of those. We're going to use Notepad. Uh, Notepad makes it really, really simple. So what we're going to do before we start, I want to make you aware that uh, background music that automatically starts when a browser opens up. Uh, your visitors might not like it too much. Uh, just imagine a person at work and deciding to go to your website to take a look and all of a sudden you got this loud music coming across their speakers and imagine the embarrassment you know they're turning really beat red and everybody's looking at them you know kinda like the commercial when the lady opened up the email and the virus got on her machine and spread throughout the office think about that for a minute anyhow let's go on with our tutorial and what I've done is I added a folder on my desktop called adding music to your website and let me lower that down and to expedite time I created a HTML file here and is I created a notepad and basically I'm gonna open it in notepad and what we have here that's not a lot to it just our HTML beginning tag if you watch my other tutorial you've seen uh, how I created our web pages and notepad there's a certain few steps that you have to go through in order to be able to uh, create HTML extension on your uh, files using notepad but anyhow uh, we have our opening tag HTML our closing tag HTML our body tag closing body tag and if you wanted to you could put your title and everything up in here so we put our head tag closing head tag not a question mark and in between there goes our title music okay and what I've done here I have a tag here called embed and it points to a source of acoustic wave which is here in the same directory as my HTML file uh, actually it's here wave I converted this uh, acoustics mp3 over to a wave file because mp3 files have difficulty playing across the web unless you have uh, unless you explicitly tell it to play with uh, Windows Media Player or QuickTime but I'm showing you uh, the, the way that um, back, background music is normally played in a website uh, in the old days so to speak now most people are using a Swift file to do that because they don't have the browser conflicts and that's one of the things I want to let you know that when you're working with uh, background music or uh, music files on a website you're going to run into browser conflicts where some browsers will handle them a little different than others and but that's not what we're going to cover here. I just want to show you how to put music out on a website. Now there are some other uh, commands that you can add here if you want your music to start automatically you can set that to true. If you want it to loop you can say false or true. You can set the height of your player. Now uh, I set the height to zero and the width to two and what that does it causes it to disappear. So let's go ahead and save this and we're going to run this. So let's run this in Internet Explorer. Open with Internet Explorer. And you may be able to hear my music in a moment. Ah, Internet Explorer said it doesn't like running that without my permission. Okay. Now I'm not certain if you can hear that, but there it is. Hold on. Alright, now it stopped looping. So, um, there you have it. A simple uh, 
an example. Now I want to also show you how to make your player show up and we can do that actually by removing this if we want and saving it and let's run that in Internet Explorer again and you'll see the player show up on the screen ahead and close that. So that's the end of this lesson on adding music to your web page. Hope you enjoyed it.